I'll try and get some Celica content in here. That way it's not just like 10 minutes of me ranting. So yeah, we're gonna get started on this. I keep forgetting to bring the head mount, but whatever. I'll film what I can. All right guys, GoPro's about to die. So I gotta do this really quick, but finally got it to break free. I don't know if you can see the gap in there, but finally I just added one more piece of wood. And I guess once it puts pressure on the knuckle, it was just level enough for it to finally start coming out. You can see it in the bottom there sticking out. Come on, come on out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So one down, one to go, and I've already got all the new shit, so I might actually get these together tonight, which would be sick because this is the last thing keeping me from getting that girl out there on the ground, which I've been waiting for a long time. And after this bullshit with the caliber, I'd love to just get that on the ground, be able to drive it. So I'm gonna keep kicking ass on this and uh, have Tyler's wisdom to guide me into throwing this shit back together and maybe we'll see it on the ground tomorrow. Who knows? Stop right, you cheap bastard. Fuck you! Fuck we you. fuck you in the mouth! We, we fuck, fuck you in the ass! We find all the fucking wee shit! <laughs> Number two, just heard the pop. Here we go. Let's get a view. Did you get the other one actually all the way out? Oh yeah, yeah, the other one's sitting right there. Going down. Yeah. Cool beans. Whoa. Well, that's that. Sweet. Bam. There she goes. Yeah, this one's a little, uh, a little marred too, but didn't look too bad. No, you can feel your fingernail, that's all that matters. I mean, I just cut my fingernails, but... It's <laughs> <laughs> not a rotating surface, it's just a... Yeah. So... We'll take a... We'll clean it up. That's a win, because I tried the whole night the other night trying to get Scotch this one right fucking in. one out, and... Wouldn't yep. come out, so... Bend the crap out of that thing. Yeah, no, it was tweaking the whole fucking 20-ton press. I don't know, maybe the PV blast helped. Probably. But I think the, it probably, um. Maybe just be that little bit. Yeah, because that adding that one little piece of wood, when you put the pressure on it, it would tweak a little bit. So it's probably just enough to be like, yeah, I'm not yeah. coming out. But, um, yeah, so both are out. So that's the last bit of uh, deconstruction, if you want to call it that. All that's left is reassembly. So disassembly, that's what I was looking for. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one in the uh, parts washer though because this is this is the one that's cleaned up. Yeah, it's crusty, rusty, whatever. But uh, this one I'm gonna throw in there and just hit with the uh, brake clean the brush real quick and make her good as used. Oh, she get on there and get it. It's a, it's a bad little bike right here. Just get it. Copyright. Yeah, I'm literally, I'm gonna get sued by like four different people for the shit that I say in here because it's how I entertain myself. The next day. Both the knuckles are completely apart like I already stated. Uh, I spent some time looking for new ball joints. Um, that's all one piece. I thought I had some, but apparently the ones that I had in the back of the car were ones that I actually grabbed for a set of STI control arms I bought for my Forester. So those aren't for this. Uh, we probably just didn't have any in stock. I grabbed whatever we had in stock before my store closed uh, just so I'd have it in case I needed it because we didn't have much for a fucking fifth gen Celica anyway. And I grabbed some uh, sixth gen stuff that fits like these ball joints if we had them for a sixth gen <clears throat> would have been the exact same thing anyway. So I probably didn't have those. I looked online. They're about like 40-ish bucks a pop for the Moog ones. Um, I called around about the same in most of the parts stores. I found them online. I found some other brands too, but I'm not sure how much I trust the quality because I kind of just like buy it once, do it right, not uh, buy a cheap one, have to replace it again in a year. So I'll wait on it anyway because I don't need them. I just rather like freshen up the knuckle while everything's out. But that ball joins literally one nut and, the, and three nuts off the uh, control arm and it just comes right out. So I'm not too worried about it. I can do that later because they might still be good. 
And if they're not, like I said, four bolts done. I did remember the head cam today right here. So we're going to get this swapped from the whatever you want to call this fucking selfie stick filming GoPro mount, whatever handheld GoPro mount. Uh, we're going to swap from that to the head cam. So let's do that. And just like that, we're on the head cam. This is what I was working on earlier. I'm trying to get this uh, this rust ring in. Um, I can hold this with one hand. Right in here, trying to get all this out. I got a razor blade and I got some scotch bright, which I'm not sure where I put the scotch bright. Um, it's a, oh, it's up there. <clears throat> oh shit! <laughs> I grabbed it by the ball joint and it moved. <sighs> Smart move. All right, so let's see if I can get in here and get some of this out. Actually, I'm going to try and get this first, this outer layer first. We have a free moment. You should take this back down and tell Justice, and she'll give you a free one. Oh. I just opened it and took a one sip of it. It's October thirty first. The fuck? Is so the other? Did you try the other one? I just opened up the November seventh <clears throat> one, and that one's fine. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go return some chocolate milk. The next day. We are back again. Got something cool today. My grill came in for the Celica, so let's get that unboxed. I got it sitting here on the trunk. Let's see what we got. Now, the little tabs that go inside it um, probably aren't going to come with it because I would assume those are all a different part number given that I ordered this from a Toyota dealership's website. Um, probably going to have to source a couple because my grill was broken into pieces and like whole chunks were missing. So I'm probably missing some of those grommets. But we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Dang, this thing's long. <laughs> I didn't think it was that long. But I mean, it goes across the whole car, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, it comes with them. Look at that. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh, man. Can even see through it and everything it's crystal clear oh that's awesome oh, okay there were only three so i'm not missing any anyway but that's still badass <clears throat> that is a beautiful piece oh, i am super stoked on this because like i said i saw maybe one or two other options most of which were duraflex fiberglass which is going to fit like shit i just think the way that the front ends of these cars look this is such a sleek design toyota really had it right there's nothing really that looks much better than the factory grill so i'm super stoked to have this piece so let's get it bolted up all right i'm going to try and provide some light with my phone here but I got it on. Um, I fucked with it a couple times because I couldn't remember if it was supposed to go under or over this uh, kind of black plastic protector tray, whatever you want to call this. Um, but it definitely goes over because if you look here, the uh, oh my phone died. But the <clears throat> just go back and look at the picture before the flashlight went out. Um, the tray extends past this little cutout on the grill, so it definitely goes over it. Um, so I'm just going to crawl under. I, uh, I think I've shown this in the video before. There's these little dials, these little knobs underneath that you can use to manually turn the uh, pop-up headlights up and down in case you need to get at them, replace a headlight or whatever. Um, so I'm going to go back down there, flip them back down. That way, you know, everything's exactly as it was when I turned the car off. And my bumper, I got a notification a couple days ago that it shipped. So the bumper should be in soon. And I'm going to go back inside to the garage, getting a little chilly out once I'm done that, and try and get my knuckles assembled. So, let's get to it. 
All right, well, that was a pain in the ass. We got the bearing in. Um, it's really tough because, like I said, I couldn't get these dust shields off. Um, it's really tough to try and press them in even with that on because you, there's really like no spot for you to um, balance it out evenly. Um, so I ended up fucking up the, the dust shield I think is fine, but I fucked up that, let's see if I can get light, fucked that up a little bit. Whatever, I mean, it, it's like a dust boot, it's not, it's not anything crucial to the knuckle, but it just irritates me, because I, you know, I like things symmetrical, I like things even, if it's, if it's perfectly fucking round, I want it to be perfectly fucking round, so I screwed that up, but... Um, it went in a little crooked, I finally managed to get a system, uh, get everything like aligned in a way that it straightened itself out and it went in. Um, I'm gonna clean up the other one now, probably gonna go put the other bearing back outside. It's been in the freezer for like two days, I actually forgot I put them in there, so I'm gonna go throw this outside and uh, clean up the other knuckle and prepare to get these in. That way I can at least get these in because that's the first step and then I can worry about the rest because that's less of a pain in the ass. So, so I'm told. We'll see. Pretty sure everything's gonna be a pain in the ass on this, but getting there. We're finally at reconstruction instead of deconstruction, so. Hell yeah. Does this look like it's... <coughs> it, the seam is right there. I don't know if it has to go like a cunt hair closer or... No, she's in. Yeah. I did something. He's only been hounding me for like a month. I just want you to drive it. No, I know. I want to drive it. I want to drive it for fucking snowfall. Like, I don't even give a shit about being it. just being there. I just want you to drive it. <laughs> there, there is crud in there. I don't know how I'm gonna fucking get out. I can see like little pieces of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should have picked it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> <coughs> See, look at that. Fucking nice. Dark. I don't even know if you can even see it. Dark. I'm just... I'm, a, I'm just, <laughs> just going to put this down so it's easier. You know what I'm saying. Thanks. Alright, that was a bitch. But uh, it's all together with the... Uh, Exception of this last little retainer piece. Oh, sorry. There you go. <clears throat> this last little retainer piece that goes in here, but this piece goes down towards the ball joint. Um, so I'm just going to press that in. We're going to call it quits for tonight. It's getting pretty late. It's probably, what, past 12 now? Yeah, it's like 12.20. Shit. And yeah, it's got, a, it's, got the, it's got a bearing in it. It's got a hub in it. It's more or less complete. And then tomorrow, you put my hub and my bearing in the freezer? Yep, they're both yep, in the freezer. So, Tomorrow, I'll get started on the other one and maybe get this thing on fucking all fours. I haven't seen it on all fours since I've done literally everything well, to it. We can get it in the air all fours. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got the tranny header. fluid. Well, and we the gotta, header is a... Yeah. So huh, header, bitch, but like tranny fluid, yeah, oil though. change. Yeah. So we got three things, probably more. I mean, we got to reassemble the rest of the fucking engine too, but I mean, it's just engine bay shit. It's not... The engine itself is still in one piece. Yeah. But, um... I know that the Lexus is junk. Yeah. Engine, toast, gone. Well, the head. I mean, yeah, the head. It's savable, but it costs money. Um, well, my potentially my savable. Prob my problem is, is he already cut the seat and everything. That the those two divots took out material. Oh yeah. So if he's you cut gonna it more, you're gonna need bigger valve. Bigger valve, or he's gonna, you know what I mean? The ridge yeah. isn't there because one of them took yeah. like, the like ridge right it's out. It's not gonna seat. Yeah, or yeah. seal completely. Oh, it's, it's gonna yeah. like leak a little yeah. bit in that corner. So we're gonna try to fucking scrounge up 750 fucking bucks and go get a fucking V8. Yeah, I already touched base on that briefly, like yeah. a couple clips ago. But I yeah, just... so if he if he does that, uh, he told me some things I didn't know. Um, the engine mounts and uh, a bunch of other things are actually interchangeable, so he wouldn't have a whole lot to get. Um, possibly, just a kit. yeah. And really? possibly a uh, bell housing adapter eventually. I mean, phase one, he'd probably just put it in the car, leave it automatic for now. But, uh, oh, fuck. 300 horse? 
I think it would rip for shit, dude. I would just go like... Yeah, we'll, we'll run it. Yeah. Run it till you blow the trans out and then get a bell housing yeah. adapter and put the W58 in it. But, um... I just don't know what, like... We'd have to post up something, like post up the Celica real quick and then, uh, maybe... I don't know. I'd say post up a 2J, but... You, at this rate. At, at this rate, you... you if I'm gonna get rid of a 2J, you're gonna want this block over that block. Or I'm gonna want both of those well, for get, parts, well, like yeah, yeah, like to this assemble. Block is way more healthier. Than no, this I know, one. but what I'm saying is both of those to pull parts from. If I go get that IS and you go V8. Yeah. You know. I don't mind going V8. So, I just this is the deal of the life that's on the table right now. We need to. No, like, I know. Fucking come up with 750 fucking dollars. Or best offer. He or, wants it no, gone. Yeah. So. Well, or trades and. Yeah. So like, I don't know. But we don't have any. It's 750 bucks or best offer. So let's say it's. 500 bucks what do you have that's worth 500 bucks and not more you know that's, yeah. so you'd be like hey you want half a celica no, that's like, uh, you have parts for other cars like you happen to have ask him if he has a celica ask him if he wants a motor for it you know well actually that's not really worth anything because we have no idea oh and it's missing half the parts because she robbed like the coils and the fucking distributor and like the entire exhaust and so <laughs> there's that too so that would only really be beneficial if you ended up or one of us got a seventh gen and just yeah. wanted a backup motor for parts in case we put a hole in the block or some shit but um who knows maybe we'll try and scrounge up some cash and pick up a gs400 Jesus Christ. this sucks as we live in vermont for it too like i know gas fucking trailer Sells it out from under us once we get loaded up. Oh my god. I really, I, dude, I wish so badly that we could just find a cheap ass fucking car trailer. I'm so sick of this U Haul shit. <laughs> that or a fucking cheap ass, I can message Jeff, like, yo, no, I ain't gonna fucking find anything cheaper than fucking 750 bucks for a whole car. Fucking no, yeah. It's like, cut the get, I cut the cats off and go make our money back. Yeah, then. exactly, if it hasn't. And if True. it's not straight piped. True. Cause I'm gonna be straight piping on my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll probably straight actually, pipe into like mufflers. No, I'd straight pipe it into my inch gas. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Dude. I'm interested. I'm very interested. Oh my. Somebody God. has to have done that. Dude, and my BER. Does it work with the? I'll make UZ? it work. Why not? It's not the same generation. They got coil packs and everything, like. I'm really interested. <laughs> HKS axle back with the fucking like dual into the, one. The fart can on it. <laughs> no, you know what? Can. We should get another HKS axle oh, back yeah. and just flip it the other way and flip the hangers around. <laughs> dual, dual fucking cans coming out like. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, we need to stop, dude. We need your goal. Maybe. Yeah. That was a dream on uh, my first Forester was a, du a custom dual exhaust. I already had plans to cut out the bumper and line it and make it like super professional looking. Um. Gotta get this that's another car, story man. yeah all right so that's it for tonight i think i already said it but like comment subscribe stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching peace